The Friday Fill Up, thanks to 3YBFM. Well, welcome to the Friday Fill Up, the second week of our show, and we must thank Coastal Wholesalers, Brett and Larissa Walther, who have jumped on board as sponsors. Jared McLean, Greg Ice Kelson, welcome, boys. And, uh, well, Ice, you're on fire last week, mate. Oh. Three winners. Can't do much more than that. Couple there, mate. Right every now and again. <laughs> and Can't Jared, say the same to me. Well, I'll tell you what, though, but the weird kid, mate, we know that they're just flying at the moment. Uh, of course, three winners of Caulfield yesterday, uh, as well, so uh, all good things happening uh, for the DK Weir Camp. We're going to talk all things Caulfield Cup to kick it off. Kingswell Dream, Jared, has been uh, the favourite virtually from the start of betting for the 2018 Caulfield Cup. Uh, how is the horse? I-, I reckon he's had a faultless preparation. Yeah, correct. He has had a faultless preparation, and since he won the Mornington Cup back in March, he's had the luxury of having the, the free ticket, the golden ticket, into the Cup. So he's been able to go the traditional Caulfield Cup route, the wait for age path, without the pressure of having to win a race. Uh, it's just been a lovely preparation. He, every run he's had, he's improved every time. And he's screaming out for the 2400 now on Saturday, which he gets, and good barrier, good jockey. He's got a lot of ticks in his favour, so I can't wait till Saturday afternoon. Drawn the perfect barrier, hasn't he, Ice? Well, I reckon that was the last piece of the puzzle. Um, you know, close up behind Winks last time, that was good enough in the Turnbull and all I was waiting for was to see if he drew a gate and he's done that now so uh, yeah it's he's hard to go past. What about your other two runners, Gather Chieftain of course, uh, great to see this horse get the opportunity, uh, I reckon he would have been a fantastic chance in the Geelong Cup next Wednesday um, but obviously uh, you know it's hard to pass up opportunities like this isn't it? Yeah that's right obviously in the final field he, he's earned his spot there, he's a Womble Cup winner, uh, you know arguably whether that form's quite good enough. But it's a big thrill for the owners to have a runner in a Caulfield Cup. And, and always, I'll tell you, it wasn't a bad run behind oh. uh, the Spruik Horse Yucatan uh, last Saturday. I was just thinking he's a blowout chance because he's drawn two. Yeah. Um, he's going to get a lot of favours. Um, and look, he's a hard horse to gauge because he was a big Spruik at one stage. He's been, you know, Melbourne Cup type, etc. Yeah. Probably hasn't lived up to that, but he's run some good races throughout his career and beaten some good horses. So I'm just thinking with 52 and a half. Mm. Um, well, wouldn't be the biggest shock in the world you're right though that's a perfect draw for Dino you just go back poke along save ground where you can and yeah there's definitely two of the horses so if the right one shows up he could be a fluke as hope yeah. now what about your other runner night's watch uh, a little bit of a query on the distance but what are your thoughts and what are your feelings uh, first try at the trip it would have been nice for him to draw a gate for Ben Allen but he's got no option but to go back and you see the Caulfield Cup they, they sort of come in two waves they, they get going early and you know if, if you're good enough to sustain that gallop from a long way out you, you're possibly a winning chance but with this horse he's just got to be in that second wave riding me strong late and hopefully can run into the money and this kid's just riding so well, well and, and, and what we've seen jared at caulfield of late they can get into that three wide running lane and it's the best place to be because you're not sort yeah. of held up so maybe just maybe it, it, it's not to his detriment. and he can get free roll and no weight as well and i tell you what he's a lead up as well so three Sort of pretty Five high chances. chances there, yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. And I was going to say, I did hear a bit of a whisper, mate, that uh, Trap for Fools, which we're going to talk about shortly, might have galloped uh, with Kingswell Dream during the week. And my mail is that Kingswell Dream just went absolutely whooshko, and your horse is going along super, Trap for Fools. So. Uh, yeah, it's probably it's a bad word in racing. Uh, Wooshka. A, 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 <laughs> a, 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 chop, a chopping block as such, because that's, that's what he was there. He was there to to gallop for Kings Will Dream. Uh, we we just went, we we led the gallop, Trap for Fools, and it was a good 1,000-metre gallop. Yep. So he, he was there to make the running and continue to build every furlong. And Kings Will Dream sat off him and, and was really made run through the line late, which is what Darren wanted with Kings Will Dream, whereas Trap for Fools, he's, he's had a couple of hard runs of late and he just needed to have a, a nice spring on gallop so he wasn't there to break any records. and. Shane Jackson, who was on top, said had he give him a slap up, he could have quite easily gone with him. So wow. absolutely no panic from my camp. Pretty, at all. pretty good lead pony too that you're oh, sending out. Yeah, yeah, well, usually uh, like Lindsay was using him as a, as the chopping block in Perth, and it, it, it actually brings him on and makes him of a horse. So uh, Voodoo Lads, our our best horse here in Warrnambool, who we gallop with anything going any good, and and his form speaks for itself. So it's not a bad thing to be the stable chopping block. Man, been like me stuff. in life, I reckon. Yeah, I reckon I've been there too, mate. Don't worry about that. Trafford Falls is going to be a life chance in the Coonji too, I reckon. Uh, nice race. Yeah, obviously there was a little bit of, you know, we were keen to run in the Caulfield Cup, but when we sat down and had a good look, we we thought realistically he might have ran seventh or eighth. So 
we've taken this option to hopefully win a Group 3 race on Caulfield Cup Day and I think we've done the right thing and I think he's a life chance. Yeah, Ice, what's your best, mate, for the weekend? What do you think, early markets? Well, I'm still with Kingsville Dream. Have been all the way through. I know you haven't got any spoil, but again, talking, you know, that faultless, they haven't had to worry about not getting a run anywhere, so they've been able to follow their regular program. Maybe, if anything, would have liked a little bit more solid gallop in the Turnbull, but otherwise, uh, I reckon it's made for him. But you'd still need luck in those big fields. Of course you do. Yeah. The brakes have got to come at the right time and stuff, but I reckon uh, Kingsville Drew will be... Is it fair to say he's the best local, isn't he? Oh, 100%. Oh, and, 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 just the unknown and I guess, yeah, what I'll, if you're spot on. Yeah, yeah. What I was going to say is probably these internationals, and we've seen some of them come here and be too good for us. Yeah. Uh, that's the bit we well, don't last know. Last week was uh, probably proven there a little bit too, ben wasn't Battle, it? yeah, he's a beauty, yeah. wasn't he? Unbelievable. Hey, uh, just before you go, Jared, uh, peaceful state. I just reckon drop him back in uh, in class. This is a ripping race for him, and uh, nice size, about 450 you can get at the moment. So. Yeah, he's a funny horse. He, other than winning his maiden second up, his second up form's not that good. Yep. And so he, he's a three weeks now between runs. Uh, we, we deliberately missed a two-rack to go for this softer option. Uh, Johnny Allen on, drawn out. He'll be on that three-line run, chiming in late, and I thought he was our best chance to win the race on Saturday. And so second beat and a half length, land of plenty, first up. And like you said, all you've got to do is be give the second up run, and he's in his right race for sure. Absolutely. What's your best for the weekend, boys? Uh, I'm going to stick with the Caulfield Cup horse, Kingsville Dream. Been there all the way, and uh, I'm staying there. Yeah, I'm going to stay with him too, and I love Peaceful State. I just reckon that is a uh, unbelievable price, to be honest, for that horse on the weekend. Jay Mac, your thoughts? Oh, I'm cheering for Trap for Fools. <laughs> Good on you, mate. <laughs> nice little paycheck. Hey, listen, we wish you all the best of luck. It's exciting, and uh, what a weekend of racing it promises to be. Caulfield Cup, the Friday fill-up. We hope you've enjoyed, and we must thank our sponsors, Coastal Wholesalers, Brent and Larissa Walther.